This, my friends, smashes my brain. The excitement is crazy because the puzzle is, you know, kinda disposable, one mistake and it won't work. Look at how many hinges we have got. Something's changing, but I don't like it, it's getting more confusing. I have no idea, is this possible at all? Hey everyone, I'm Cubastic. Before we start, I want to thank you for high activity on the previous video. So many likes and comments, I'm very glad that you liked that video, because it was a new format on my channel. To those who haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend to watch it. As you know, I love to solve complicated puzzles, which are known as impossible. But what is on my desk today really impresses my imagination. And honestly, I have no idea, is this possible at all? Because it looks very mysterious. Let's take a closer look at what puzzle it is. What is its difficulty, what is its secret? The puzzle is called Quattro, or a four. Here we have four rings, let's just take a look. Four rings which are intertwined with a rope and all these ropes are intertwined with each other. And uh, the aim of this puzzle is to divide everything into four separate identical pieces. As a matter of fact, we have uh, an opportunity to take a look at this puzzle and to understand uh, its true complexity and kind of uh, impossibility. Four solid wooden rings. It's not uh, rubber, they are not flexible. Four ropes that are just woven together and our task, as I said, uh, is to separate all this into four identical pieces. I mean, we're supposed to have a ring and a rope separate from each other, like this. And we have four like this. If you look closely, you can see, let's take the green one as an example, that uh, the hole in this rope are much smaller than the width of uh, this ring. And this ring just won't fit in uh, here in any way, so we can't put it in. And this, my friends, smashes my brain. Because I don't know how to deal with these situations yet. So let's try to figure it out today. It's going to be very difficult because I've never had a puzzle like this before. I used to solve classic metal puzzles or Rubik's Cube type puzzles, which by the way is uh, very interesting and I suggest you to try it. So let's get started. As far as I can see, we can just put any of these rings in a rope. We need uh, to find some clever way to interact in general, so we can do something. Yeah, obviously we can spin them like this somehow, but it will just confuse things. And I'd really like to make no mistake and uh, not get confused, because it's gonna be hard to make it. Ok, let's take a look at these rings. It's uh, regular rings, uh, there's definitely no trick in the rings. Although. No, just solid wooden regular rings. As for the ropes, there's no catch either. The only thing that stands out uh, is if you can see where the alloy of the rope is, which is where they made it well. In fact, you know, I can't believe this puzzle can be solved, because it looks like the ropes were tied together and then they were fused. Seems like it can't be unweaved, only to be cut. Well, let's see if we need scissors today. The ropes are too short. Too short and the only way to extend this rope is to put it through one loop like this. Right here, stick it out. That's it. Now this rope looks longer. But what should we put in it? Wait, 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 no. Maybe we don't need to put rings in the ropes. We need to put ropes in the rings, look. I got one side of the rope outside the ring and one side inside the ring. I mean, with this plexus I kind of extend my workspace with a rope and I can extend it a little bit. Damn, they are too short. Interesting, will it work or not? 
Yeah! Yeah! Something's changing, but I don't like it, to be honest, because I think it's getting more confusing. Alright, I'll get it back. Okay, I got it back. Good. It is really hard to explain what's going on, but I think I see some kind of solution. This is uh, the first time I've ever done this, the excitement is crazy because the puzzle is, you know, kinda disposable, one mistake and it won't work. We put uh, the green one with the aid of a uh, white rope, I mean the white one kind of wraps around our ring. God, I'm so nervous. Also, the puzzle is made in a way that it's about to break at any moment and I don't want it so bad. Got it? Okay. Now I can take it back, but also I can take the yellow one. I mean, we're putting the green one under the yellow, right? And we return it the same way. Somehow, right? Now there is not only the white rope, but also the yellow rope are intertwined uh, inside the ring. Well, for the sake of experimentation, let's add the red one here, shall we? I don't know how it's gonna work. Now that's it, all three ropes, except the green rope, are wrapped around our ring. And green? God, I hope that nothing gets tangled and everything goes right. I guess we did it. So, how do we get it back? By the yellow? I don't have space for this rope anymore. God, it's such a mess. Okay, I think if I run this under the yellow, everything should be normal. But it doesn't normalize, it gets more and more confused. Look at how many hinges we have got. Look what's going on. Okay, well, we're supposed to solve this now. What should have changed? It's like the same thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did it. God! Friends, if you remember, we had all four ropes intertwined and now we have only three ropes and the fourth one is just swinging by itself. <laughs> now I'm gonna try to explain what I did. By solving high-level puzzles you've come to understand by experience some of the basic principles of solving puzzles. And here you have to go kind of backwards, some kind of anti-logic. If we can't get the ring through the rope, Let's just say we can't put this ring into the yellow noose. Then we need to run the rope through this loop with one side to get around the ring and then with another side to get around the ring and backwards. And we will have exactly the same effect as if the ring was passed uh, through an impenetrable hole. Let me try to show you what I mean. We use uh, the lens of uh, the red and uh, yellow rope to pull the back end of uh, the green rope. As I understood, I hope I'm doing the right thing and it wasn't an accident. Through the ring, like this, that's what we can already do. Got it. We did it once, and the second time we did it, we put a yellow noose on it. And uh, if this rope goes around right now, we will free one more rope. Look! Yeah! Yeah! Guys, it works! Man, all you need to solve a really complicated puzzle is just willing to solve it. And there's the last one! And what do we have? 
One, two, three, four separate rings. <laughs> it's an amazing puzzle based on one very simple principle. Now I'll try to show it to you. I'll take a key ring and a shoelace, not so aesthetically pleasing, but it's perfect for the example. Besides, it's this little prop I used to show this trick when I was a kid. So we take a ring and we wrap it around it. That's the loop we're gonna put the rest of the rope in. So we have a ring in a loop that uh, tightens. There's no way to get the ring out of here. The puzzle task is, I grab the shoelace tight, right here, I give the ring to my friend and say, your task is to take the ring off the rope. No matter how he pulls it and spins it, he never does anything. Because the logical way to do that is to loosen the noose and put this part with your hand in a little loop right here. But the hand won't let it. And instead of setting rope in the ring, all you have to do is to put a ring in the rope. It's kinda solving in reverse. It's actually very simple and you won't believe it, but my mother was surprised about this trick. Or did she just tell me she was surprised? I don't know. So try showing this puzzle to your friends. And the interesting thing is that this is the simplest principle behind the solution to one of the most complicated puzzles I've ever seen in my life. And to make it as simple as possible, you can just take two rings, two pieces of rope and put it together like this. By the way, you can do it at home, by yourself, and try to solve it. I'm sure you can do it. And then, as an experiment, let your friend solve it. See if uh, she or he can do it or not. Well, guys, I think the video was amazing, the puzzle in front of us today is amazing, it seemed impossible at first, and now I have four separate rings. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribe to the channel to watch these awesome videos about puzzles, about thinking, and logic and I hope you will enjoy it. Tell me what puzzles you want me to solve and show them in the new videos, write it down in the comments. This was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time! Very cool stuff, I really didn't think I could solve it, really. Piece of cake. No.